It was BYU's first game home this spring as they hosted Simon Fraser from Canada. Tons of fans came out to support the number six ranked BYU club lacrosse team at Northfield. The face off the most intense start in sports as the Cougars picked it up. Simon Fraser, also known as the Clan, tried to take advantage of the Cougars' youth. Ben Tower scored first on the counterattack here. And again, number 27, Steve Nagel tosses to Kent Mann, who gets the Cougars back into the game. Adam Foss gets a breakaway, two on one, gives it to Ben Tower, who finishes. And another quick shot by Kevin Riley, right there. Cougars force a turnover on their offense, and Drew Shumway ends up with it in front of the net and knows where to put it, top right corner. Cougars have another quick goal and ties the score 6-6. The clan scored, but Shumway came right back to sneak it behind Mike Ripley. Kevin Riley of the clan tries to spread out the Cougars' defense here and then does a good job of penetration and passes to the cutting Russell Thomas, who scores. Simon Fraser tried again, but the goalie DJ Sullivan saved it, and then he gives it to quickly Elliot Grove, who just makes number 19, Mike King, look silly. Let's take a look at that again. My goodness, one cut, two, three, four, five. Oh, just making him look ridiculous. And this is what you call flip it and reverse it. Number 16, Curtis Manning just slipped as Shumway almost scored. At halftime, Coach Slam discussed what they needed to do to keep the 7-9 lead that the Cougars had. The Cougars were ready as they went out to the, the second half, but the clan was also just as fired up. Ben Tower right here has a sick goal to start off the clan to get their lead back. Cougars stay tough as Britt Cohn pushes it up the sideline and they show off their passing ability. Cohn to man to Van Dyke, goal. Mark Manning has some skills of his own as it comes from behind the net, gets around his defender and throws it into the net. It's beginning to turn into the Mark Manning show as he breaks down his defender's ankles, gets around another defender and tosses it in. But in the end, it was too much Simon Fraser as they pull it out 17 to 14.